Good evening, my name is Tevin Jones and I am doing a organizational design structure and change presentation. Uh, this is for Management 605 and I'm discussing farmers insurance. Um, there's um, just wanted to first start by saying there are eight dimensions um, in which companies are rated for um, in order to be deemed most admirable. Um, innovativeness, quality of management, long-term investment, um, social responsibility, people management, quality of products and services, financial soundness, and wise use of corporate assets. Um, within farmers insurance, there are major issues that do hinder, um, you know, the, the best results from farmers. And I would say that the most important one is innovation. Um, at farmers, our clientele is typically people who are ages 40 and above. Now, you know, the, the smartphone per se has not been around for that long. And a lot of these individuals do have older phones and some that they're not as proficient as using. Um, so innovation um, for the book can be defined as the process of creating and doing new things that are introduced into the marketplace as products, processes, or services. Um, going off of that, um, some of these elements of innovation include new products, services, and markets, and improving current ones. Um, at Farmers, um, their goal is to ultimately um, attract more Millennials. Um, it does seem like there are not very many Millennials that are insured with Farmers. Um, I do believe that since they, like I stated before, since the clientele is 40 and above, typically people who are Millennials uh, would not be using their services. Now Farmers is looking to change that in the future. Um, I do believe that since their clientele is getting older, they do need to revamp and look into ways to attract for the younger crowd. Um, the CEO, Jeff Daly, and the chief underwriting officer, they developed Toggle. Um, Toggle is a system in which people can basically do all of their insurance, their insurance needs all through an app. Um, that is easily the best way to connect with the younger crowd, and I do believe that that is one element that will allow them to achieve that. Some of the ramifications due to lack of innovation, um, there can definitely be some losses within the employee and stakeholder satisfaction. As Farmers is a for-profit company, the goal is to, to make money, essentially. If they're losing money just off of the lack of technology, stakeholders won't be happy, employees won't be happy with salaries and possible advancement within the company. Um, there can definitely be an, a decrease in uh, customer and joint venture acquisitions. As mentioned before, Farmers does want to appeal to a younger crowd. If there is no true benefit to that younger crowd, then they may not be willing to join farmers. They may be willing to join a company that is more suitable for their needs. Um, kind of goes back to the last point um, with the lack of innovation. There's just gonna be difficulty in scaling, you know, the business positively. Um, you don't wanna be stagnant. You know, you always wanna develop that upward trend. So if we're able to do that by improving our innovation, and I think that is something that we should absolutely look into. Um, so some of the culture within farmers is, as mentioned, since it is a for-profit company, uh, we do want to maximize profits while keeping the expenses low. So by implementing more technology, by utilizing different avenues in order to capture, you know, or, or not capture, but to connect with our customer, that is what is going to allow us to develop more technology, more innovation in order to, you know, make sure the claims process is a little bit faster to make sure our customers can do things just that bit faster without having people involved, but more so the technology involved. Um, there are three key um, elements, you know, within the innovation that I did want to discuss. So one is the photo estimating application. 
It allows the customers to submit um, their pictures um, of their vehicle virtually and an estimate is written for them. Um, in the past, adjusters would go out and inspect vehicles, but now with the ability to just take the pictures through the phone, they're able to get their estimate a little bit uh, quicker and we save probably two to three days with sending somebody out um, to inspect their car. There's also a DCE or digital claims experience, um, more or less allows the customer to just handle the claim on their own. Um, they're able to, once again, obtain their estimates, um, cash out for their estimates and handle the claims process with almost no contact with an adjuster. There's also Toggle, as mentioned before, um, this is just basically an application that allows consumers to change and modify their insurance policies. Um, as it relates to the Cotter's eight step model, um, the first is to create a sense of urgency. We definitely need to use words and phrases to get people on board to help push this initiative and to allow for change moving forward. Um, we need to build a guiding coalition uh, we need to encourage leaders to get involved. We need, you know, basically all the ideas that we can get in order to make sure that we're going about this the uh, appropriate way. Also, we need to form a strategic vision and initiatives. Uh, we need to explicitly provide clarity as to how these new products and services are going to bring fresh ideas and are going to differ from the ones that we previously had. We need to enlist a volunteer army. Uh, get as many people interested as possible um, and offer some sort of incentive for providing ideas that's going to help shape our company in the future. We need to enable action by removing barriers. I think we need to promote the independence of our employees. I think we need to also trust them, allow them to do what they need to do in order to get the job done and give us whatever we need. <clears throat> excuse me, in order to emerge forward. Um, so we also need to generate short-term wins, uh, review the, the progress of everyone who's involved, and then offer different incentives. I mean, promotions, pay increases, pizza parties even, anything that will allow them to still be satisfied with their work while also working together with us to make the company better. Uh, we need to sustain the acceleration um, after the, after we've developed a plan, we need to push those and hit the ground hard uh, and hit the ground running in order to continue that growth and to allow us to keep pushing. We also need to institute change. We need to utilize all the methods of the data collected and encourage the employees to implement these new processes in day-to-day -day, uh, life. Um, there's definitely going to be, um, you know, some some issues or not issues, but some barriers to success. Um, lack of participation, we need everybody involved. There can be some performance and um, ambigu ambiguity, excuse me. Um, some people may just not know what to do and we need to make sure that we're very explicit and very transparent in that. And then some people may just have an overall lack of confidence. Some people may not be confident in what we're doing, but we need to make sure that we outline in detail what we're trying to achieve. Some things that I would like to avoid as a manager is understanding that change is not easy. It is going to take some time. Um, I also need to look to motivate the team members efficiently. Ask them, hey, what motivates you? You know, what can we do to make sure you're motivated and on board? And then we also need to, uh, you know, present the challenges and impossible outcomes. I mean, this is not going to be an easy transition, but if we're able to, you know, capture, you know, what we need to, then I think that uh, the outcomes will be better than we anticipate. And then we also need to be patient. Um, it's essential for us to be patient because as stated, change is not easy and change also takes time. So um, I do appreciate you listening to my, uh, my presentation and please let me know if there's anything else.